All right, so here's the plan. All right, this is me. Me. Okay, so I'm going to be riding a dragon, and this is going to be a hot chick and an air balloon just because, and this is Nicolas Cage, and he's jumping on a trampoline. You see this? Trampoline, right? Okay, so you see this building? You're going to be jumping out of it. You're going to be running Alex, and jumping. Alex, you got a parachute. Alex, we, what? we just need to get groceries. Erase that crap. Al Alex. Alex, were you writing with a permanent marker? Hey everyone, I'm John. I'm Alex. And today we're here to bring you a review of the 2014 comedy movie, Horrible Bosses 2. So Alex, going into this movie, what were your expectations like? My expectations for this movie were pretty high because I, the first one, obviously, it was outstanding. I thought it's, it was one of the funniest movies um, out there. Um, so I kind of I held the second one to the same standard that it was going to be really funny. And um, yeah, I uh, I had not seen the first one going into <coughs> this, so my expectations were, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. I knew the first one was kind of a raunchy, very funny. I heard a lot about it, so. I was expecting, I had some high hopes for this one, and uh, would you say it's lived up to your expectations, Alex? I think it did. And um, for those of you who did not see the first one, the first one was Horrible Bosses, the first one. And, uh... <coughs> Alex, you really gotta stop chain smoking. I'm, oh, yeah. Horrible Bosses 1, it was about um, these group of guys, a group of friends. They got together and they were like, hey, we all hate our bosses, why don't we all kill our bo each other's bosses? Yeah. For each for other. For each other, yes. Yeah, so, because they, they would suspect their own employees. Yeah. So that was the first one. It didn't end up working out. Whatever, whatever. Hilarious. Now, the second one, same group of guys, now they are their own bosses. And they're like... They're trying to start their own business. And through the person <coughs> they try to go into business with, they get kind of screwed over. And so they decide that they're going to kidnap his son and hold him for ransom. And things get a little crazy from there. Now this movie I thought succeeded in really the only place it has to succeed and that's having laughs in it. Uh, I thought this was really funny. A really funny movie. I thought uh, I like all the actors in this movie. Uh, I'm a really big fan of Charlie Day. I love Always Sunny. Uh, Chris Pine did surprisingly well. I wouldn't say surprisingly well. He is, you know, Kurt. Yeah, he is Kurt from Star Trek. It took me too. Yeah, well, well, you know, it's okay. It's, I'm sorry. It's slow day. <laughs> he was. He had. <coughs> he had surprisingly his own funny moments though. Definitely. I never really thought of him he as was, a comedic actor. I thought he was pretty funny in Star Trek at some points. So, I mean, well, yeah. Okay. I just want to say first off, this is our first review exclusively. You and I. Isn't it great? It, it's, it's pretty great. I mean, this is clearly going to be the most viewed video. Of course, of course. On, just, like, the internet. So, Alex, what did you think about the story that this movie took? I thought the story was actually very good, uh, seeing that it was a comedy. Yeah. And comedies, sometimes they lack the story as a, like... The story is not the strong point. The, the story doesn't matter no. in most comedies. And this one... The storyline was very great, and it did have some t twists and turns that surprised me, and that were very refreshing for a, uh, wow. a movie that was m s like mainly based on comedy and yeah. nothing else. I mean, I kind of have to disagree with you on that. I thought the story it was good, but it didn't really rise above other comedy plot lines. Like our most R-rated comedies these days take that kind of storyline where there's a bunch of twists in the end and all goofy group of friends. And I thought this storyline was definitely adequate, but it it was I didn't see it as standing out from other comedy movies that you see these days. Really, I didn't. I mean, I usually the comedy nowadays it just always seems to be like it's this family of like mess ups and they end up you know doing whatever like uh, grown ups. I think all modern comedies are like grown ups, but this okay. one, sure it was a group of friends, but it wasn't a campy group of friends. They were actually le legitimately funny. Legitimately yeah, were... funny. Yeah. And, um... <coughs> I thought... They were... I mean, what do you... Yeah, I, I see what you mean. So, uh... What did you think of their comedic... Chemistry. 
that's let me start over. Take what some did of, you take some of that shit out? Yeah. What did you think of their comedic chemistry? I thought their comedic chemistry was okay, <coughs> but not really excellent because you know usually in situational comedy, it's the cases that you have a certain number of characters that are normal, straight, kind of reasonably minded people, and then more characters that are crazier in some way off that create the comedy and play off of the the straight character to you know make the comedy happen and that's well, that was very obvious in this movie I thought one of the characters uh, he was very obviously the normal straight character for the other people to play off of and you know it worked but it was just very in your face because that's a formula I'm very used to having watched I kind of feel like I disagree very right. strong just because I don't think it's more of a comedic thing like that is an element in order to put forth the comedy I think it's more like that's actually how real groups of friends are you usually have like this wacky group of friends that when you get together when you're split apart you're all normal guys but when you get together and you start like actually like talking and stuff you're all you all seem pretty weird I mean I would say uh, you're the with, weirdest <laughs> what can I say? I mean, I agree with you there, to some extent, but, uh... I mean, if you watch comedy movies, mostly you'll see that when there's a comedic situation, there's one or two people that are, like, doing the, cra the weird, crazy thing, and then there's one or two other people that are kind of reason- like, do like, not doing a crazy thing, and their reaction to it is what creates a comedy, sort of. But, I mean, and that formula was definitely here, but I do- I do see what you're saying. Yeah. So. I mean, because in, in any situation, there will always be the voice of reason in a group of friends and whatever. Unless, I don't know, you're all whack jobs. In that case. Stub masters. In that case, you have a stub masters. I mean. And you can start a review channel. Uh, um, so, all in all, <coughs> uh, you definitely liked it a lot. I kind of think well, Jonathan's a voice of reason in our group. Yeah, he definitely is. And then. No, Ethan is. Really? Because Ethan's always known. What's like when I think about back in like sixth or seventh grade, or whatever? I'm yeah. like, wow, that we were making saying dumb stuff then. He knew it was dumb. Really? Uh, we'll talk about this later. So all in all, Alex, at the end of the day, what would you give Horrible Bosses out of five stars? I gave it a uh, four out of five. Four out of five? Yeah. All right. It was a funny movie. I have to admit, it. I mean, the plot was very nice, but it was just all around hilarious and there were just some moments that my sides were hurting yeah it was great i'm gonna go a little lower i still liked it i'm gonna give it a 3.5 damn <laughs> i'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five stars uh i like <coughs> this movie a lot it was really funny it had good acting from a lot of actors i like a lot christoph waltz we forgot to mention he's great in this movie uh, yeah, you, don't know Who's that? you don't know actors um 3.5 out of 5 stars. They're really that guy. Really funny. We'll show it in the but background. There, but there were some problems, I think, with the plot. just was kind of stale. The comedic chemistry wasn't... Guys? It was, you know, very... What about the zipline tidbit? It was good. Yeah, I like that. But we can argue all day. This is why it's great to talk about movies, because you can agree. And then you, you can disagree. Yeah. We, we talk about movies, we disagree, we fight about it, and we film it for your enjoyment. All right, so... Uh, Horrible Bosses too. Have you seen it? Have you not? What you think? Let us know in the comments. And uh, follow us on. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Stubmasters. YouTube subscribe. YouTube subscribe. Like. You can buy our official merchandise at CafePress.com. We will slash have a link in the description. There are always links in the description. Always. All right. Horrible Bosses too. Pretty funny movie. Uh, for Stubmasters reviews, I'm John. I just want to say, the end credits. The that was funny. Okay. The bloopers. We're gonna censor that. I swear. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The, the bloopers. The real bloopers at the end were great. Is a lot of fun. Yeah. Stay, it actually, stay for that. Don't leave. Stay for the bloopers, just because it actually showed that these comedians or you know actors, whatever, they actually did a lot. A lot funny. of this movie was probably improv. I would say a decent chunk was yeah. probably unscripted. All right. So yeah, you'll <laughs> like this movie. Horrible Bosses 2, <coughs> chain smoking. Y'all enjoy this movie if you enjoy, you know, sort of good raunchy, com. crazy. If you like the first comedies. one, you'll like this. Yeah, one. definitely. All right, so the master reviews. I'm John. I'm Alex. Have a great day. You too.
I wasn't talking to you. 